This is the rainforest country of Mysore in southern India, a country of large rivers, swamps, dense tropical growth for the country of elephants. The story we are going to tell you concerns this little elephant baby. Kalyani! Raman is in the forest looking for Kalyani, the mother elephant, who had been let out into the forest to have her baby. Kalyani! Raman's father put a bell around Kalyani's neck so that she can be heard from far away. Raman is shouting her name in all directions to make sure the elephant will hear him, for a frightened elephant can be very dangerous. Mother elephant knows Raman, for she belongs to Raman's father. I'll call him Cheria, says Raman. Cheria means little one. Elephant babies nurse several times a day. An elephant baby drinks up to three gallons of milk, and that is 36 glasses of milk a day. Elephant's milk is the richest of all animal milk. It is time to go back to the village. The mother elephant is a well-trained worker. She obeys Raman. With his knees and toes, he steers her out of the jungle. They walk slowly so that baby Cheria won't drop behind. All the elephants and all the men of Raman's village make their living from the teak wood which grows in the rainforest. Only elephants are strong enough to move the heavy teak, which is a hard wood that won't rot. Elephants are taught to perform many kinds of jobs. <laughs> Raman's father is a foreman. When he does not ride his bull elephant, he directs the work of others. As soon as he spots Raman and Cheria, Father Krishnan walks over to see the baby elephant. Krishnan is pleased because the little elephant looks so strong and healthy. It is hard to believe that this small, playful baby elephant will someday be as big and strong as the bull elephant that Krishnan is handling. When a mother elephant comes back to camp, she is spared heavy work as long as she nurses the baby. While the others still work, Raman takes Kalyani and her baby to the river, the favorite resting place for elephants and for their mahouts. Cheria must have bathed with his mother before because the baby wades merrily into the stream. But the river serves for more than bathing. The logs from the camp are pulled down to the river. The river is the only highway to the outside world. Elephants and their keepers look forward to their evening bath. The elephants need bathing not only because of the heat, but because their skin is dry and would crack unless it were soaked frequently. The elephant baby and his mother return to the village. Cheria is joining the herd. A classroom for elephants. Cheria is five years older. It is time for him to go to school. An elephant classroom is made of strong bamboo poles with just enough space for a young elephant. An old and trained elephant 
helps to keep discipline. Brahman's brother, Kopal, will be Cherya's Mahud. With all his strength, he tries to move the new student into the classroom. But only the strong old elephant can force Cherya to obey. It takes time and patience to train an elephant. Even a young elephant is quite strong. So for his own safety and the safety of the Mahouds, he has to be kept behind closed gates and chained to a post. Usually it takes three people to train an elephant, one for handling the rope and two riders. Cheria has never felt weight on his back so he bucks like a bronco. To you, this may seem like a tame bronco busting, but remember, an elephant is more dangerous than a horse. Every time, Cheria is calmed down with a banana. One rider follows another. Gradually, Cheria recognizes that no one will harm him, and he likes to be rewarded for good work. After a few weeks, he is ready for the teakwood block. This means down. This sound means up. As you see, the heavy wood does the trick of forcing the elephant down. Or permitting him to get up. Only after many exercises can Kopal climb up and give the command. Ejunel Kuka, up. Iru Kuka, down. Cheria obeys. What a happy day for the young Mahud when he sees that his elephant understands his command. Good food and good treatment help Cheria grow rapidly. Today he will have his first serious test. Kopal is dressing up for the occasion. A tiger has been sighted near the lumber camp. The village elders are organizing a hunt to free the lumber camp from danger. Cheria will have to prove himself today. The old elephants lead the way. will chase the tiger in the direction of the hunters. <laughs> the young elephant behaved well. The tiger is dead. The lumber camp is safe again. The elephants return to work. Cheria, the little one, is now Komban Anna, a working elephant. Not yet fully grown and powerful like the old tuskers, but already big enough to do a full share of work and earn a living for himself and for his master.